So I had an inquiry recently, someone asking, well, can I get a user to be able to collaborate and upload files into Google Drive without actually having a Google account? So in this video, we're gonna try and answer that question for you using a Google Workspace account and see if it's possible. So the first thing is that you should probably actually encourage that person to upgrade and get a uh, Google account, so, so upgrade their account to have those Google superpowers. It'll make life a lot easier and they probably use Google Analytics and other things anyway, so why not, right? They don't have to have a Google Workspace account. It doesn't cost anything to do, it's free. So check out our video about upgrading your non-Google account with Google superpowers. Now let's have a look and see if we can actually make this work and share a Google Drive uh, folder with a user that's got just an outlook.com account, a free one, and see if they can actually upload a file to it as well. All right, so let's start out in Google Drive. Now I've got this folder here, which I've just called shared with Outlook for reference, so we can see what happens as we go through this process. And what I'm gonna do is right click and share, and I'm gonna type in the address of the user that I'm going to share it with. So here we go, there's my email address of the person on the other end and I'm just gonna send them a quick message to say, hey, this is what you want you to do. So I'm gonna make this, uh, this user be an editor and I'm going to send. Now it's gonna warn me that this user's external, so that's fine, I'm gonna click share anyway. And it's gonna ping off an email to that person on the other end. So let's now just open up our outlook.com account and have a look and see what happens there. All right, so over in Outlook.com, we have an email from my Google Workspace account to my personal account. And from here, we should be able to now test this and see what happens. So I'm gonna uh, right click, I'm going to copy this link address, and I'm gonna start with an incognito window and paste it in. Now that is going to generate a security code. So I'm gonna need to send that security code back to myself, uh, back to my my uh, outlook.com address, as you can see, that sort of uh, implies that it's Outlook. It's got OU star 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 dot com. I mean, yeah, all right, thanks Google. It's probably outlook.com. Okay, so what have I got now? I've got a verification code, awesome. So I'm gonna uh, copy this little verification code here, copy that. And then I'm gonna come back to my incognito window. I'm gonna paste that in and click on next. So what's going on here? Well, Google has this, pr uh, this principle where I can share a folder with someone external to my Google Workspace and external to Google's ecosystem, and they can actually collaborate with me and upload files if they want to. They can also edit files. They can basically use Google Drive without having a Google account, which is pretty cool. So now let's put this to the test and let's upload a file into this uh, window. All right, so this is what we're going to upload. Um, clearly, the internet is just about cats, so we're going to upload a cat image. And as you can see, it says I don't have permission to upload in this folder. Now, that's kind of what we wanted to achieve. It was the ability to upload. Um, now, that is because I'm not signed in with a Google account. Now, let's do that from the other side. So coming back to my folder here, I'm gonna take my cat meme, I'm gonna pop that into the folder. And what that's gonna do is upload it. And then coming back to my guest user and my visitor, I'm gonna have a look at that folder. I'll just refresh it. Um, and now obviously I can see that image. All right, so that's grand. So now what can I actually do with that image? Well, I can download it, that's cool. Uh, I can rename it as well. All right, so that's good too. But again, I can't actually upload anything. So let's just create a quick uh, Google document inside of that as well. And uh, we'll obviously make that one available to our user externally as well. All right, so where we go, we've got our uh, Google Doc. We'll just call it Google Doc with cats, shall we? All right, excellent. So now let's swap users again. All right, so here we go. We're back on our, our, our friend um, from Outlook land. So we'll double click on that. Here we go. Okay, so now I've got a Google Doc. I can see that uh, the other person is also uh, working in there. And look at that. I can now upload my image into the Google, Google Doc. So that's clearly quite limited, right? I mean, that'll give me the ability to put stuff into files, 
But if I wanted to upload a PDF or something into Google Drive, I'm not going to get that capability at this point in time. So let's close that out and come back to our Drive window and then swap back to our original user again. All right, so then looking at that from our original user's point of view, I've got the cat document. So this is great. So as long as the document exists, we can uh, collaborate we, with each other and that's fine. So is there, is there, so is there a setting inside of Google Workspace Admin that allows anonymous users to upload files to folders? So let's go and have a look at that next. Okay, so if we come into the Google Workspace Admin settings, we have a look at our settings and see what's available. Uh, we can turn on everything. So we can say, yep, we're going to allow sharing externally. We're going to uh, basically allow anybody to do anything from inside of Google Workspace. Um, we can also make it published and make it available. So we want to turn that on. We want to have that access get checked. And this last one, distributing content, um, that one's really just to do with um, who can upload or move content to shared drives when it's um, owned by another organization. So that one doesn't make any difference. Either way, that is the basically the most uh, liberal, shall we say, an open set of uh, permissions that we can have. So let's now go back to our Outlook user and see if that is possible. Okay, so here's my uh, Outlook window for that with that user. All right, so here's that Outlook window with that user. And what I've got is now a PDF of my cat. And so I'm going to upload this PDF into this file. And again, you can see I still don't have permission to upload to this folder. So there you go. The summary here is that if you don't have a Google account, then you can't log in. Uh, sorry, you can't give uh, grant access to a user to upload files. And, you know, frankly, that's really sensible. You wouldn't really want to do it because if someone got the link and then they were able to start uploading stuff, they could use up all of your storage space and that would crush your account. Uh, they could upload a virus or some sort of phishing or hacking attempt, even if they do it unwittingly. I mean, that's pretty, uh, pretty dangerous as well. So really um, having this kind of level of access without knowing exactly who's doing it is probably a bit of an issue. So in a future video, we'll have a look at how you might be able to do this uh, through a web form or some other process. And uh, please feel free to like and subscribe below if you want to be updated when I do that video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.